A cross-section of MPs have today threatened to walk out of parliament if the government does not ban the permanent secretary Paz Bijirimana out of office. We are giving him seven days. If they don't comply, we shall withdraw from that house. Let him be the member of parliament, let him be the president, let him be the judiciary, let him be everything. Let him run this country alone. Without any doubt that Bijirimana happens to be at the receiving end, but we now know the, the, the big offices in this country are behind the theft in the office of the Prime Minister, period. Section 38 of the Public Service Act 2009 provides that even where disciplinary proceedings are about to be taken against an officer, he or she shall be interdicted by a responsible officer. MPs are now questioning why past Bijirimana is being shelled. The permanent secretary is the accounting officer. How can he act as a whistleblower in the ministry? A disaster of this magnitude leads to automatic resignation. When it comes to Biningimana, he's even calling caucus meetings. In Ibutalaja, we don't have roads. An extract from the Auditor General's report regarding the office of the Prime Minister clearly shows that without seeking clearance from the Ministry of Finance, he approved 15.5 billion shillings, which he had fraudulently deposited into the crisis management account. The report further indicates that the permanent secretary diverted 6.5 billion shillings from the Norwegian support to the PRDP account to draft the disaster management policy. The Auditor General's report also indicates that Bijirimana approved payment amounting to 2.9 billion shillings into the personal accounts of two cashiers. It is alleged that the permanent secretary explicitly approved the withdrawal of 1.4 billion shillings of which 787 million shillings was withdrawn on a Friday for use over the weekend. In fact, every weekend from Friday at 3 p.m., office business ceased. The rest of the hours was to take care of the, of the sharing of the loot. By act of omission or commission, he just is interdicted and he's on half salary. In case he's proved innocent, then he can be reinstated with full pay. The Prime Minister last week told Parliament that government would pay back some of the money that donors requested for. The donor money, which was stolen, rising up to the occasion and saying, we will refund the money. How sad is that? It is as though they are justifying that the taxpayers' money is good money to be stolen. Parliament and the donors must continue to press hard until the executive complies. However, the Commissioner for Information in the Prime Minister's office, Moses Watasa, stressed that the permanent secretary is not about to leave office. What the PS was trying to do is to say, look, uh, can I have uh, another accountant here? But himself, he cannot transfer a principal accountant. No. Then they demand he goes tomorrow. He goes. They demand Emma should go. Emma goes. You cannot run the government like that. Now lawmakers think and believe that if past Bijirimana steps aside and is also interdicted, this will be a good gesture to the public and parliament that indeed corruption is being fought in this country. Maurice Ochoa, NTV.